We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. Again, just playing a little bit of catch up with some of the figures I've missed in 2023. Um, Sergeant Krill, I did just review uh, Scar Squadron Trooper, Scar Trooper Mike last week. Um, and yeah, Krill, he was always one that interested me. Um, the fact that it's a Stormtrooper with a lightsaber is just cool. Um, but yeah, just the f just wasn't an awesome enough figure for me to just grab just from the get-go. I have already taken him out of the box, but I thought I'd show you inside anyway. Sergeant Krill, a little bit of a right up there. There's all the warning jargon on the back. Picture of Krill there on the side. This box is going straight in the bin. So without further ado, let's take a look at the figure. All right, here is Sergeant Krill out of the packaging. Um, yeah, another nice addition to the line, honestly. I, I, I dig this guy. I'm glad I didn't pay the original full price of $65, which is just ridiculous, you know, just because it comes in a fancy box. Um, Accessory-wise, it comes with this here E11 blaster, which is cool. And... Uh, I think for the first time on these new Stormtroopers, it's got a holster, which is cool. So that's nice. Does also come with his lightsaber, which is just a repaint of Plo Koon's lightsaber. That is Plo Koon's hilt. Um, cast in like a... Cast in like a just a dark grey, a little silver bit on there with a green blade. That's fine, does the job. I don't know, I don't recall how accurate that is to the comic. Doesn't matter when it's in his hand, you're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> so, it's all good. So yeah, much like the Scar Squadron Mike figure, you know, it's using using the regular sort of Stormtrooper body as a base, and then adding some cool crap to it, basically. Uh, this time he's, you know, just got a sort of sand, standard Stormtrooper helmet. Which is fine, but he's got the uh, he's got the pauldron there, which is the same mold as the first order pauldrons um, from from memory. If I'm speaking wrongly, please, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Um, but I love the big imperial cog on the side there. Uh, all the bits and pieces that sort of sit along the figure are nice. You know, he's got the extra extra sort of pouch there, which is attached to his belt. So that's cool. It actually looks like it may be a separate piece to a slightly retooled belt. So could be, could be. It doesn't look like it's part of the mold. It looks like it's uh, yeah glued down on the buttock there, similar to the uh, the holster here. That looks to be glued in, glued over the top, as opposed to being a new entirely new mold for it so that's that's smart that's good thinking there you being able to cast some new elements without you know having to completely redesign rechange everything uh yeah i'm not sure how they've done it but that's cool uh he does have the sort of pouch up on his arm that's sort of on there loose he does have the same sort of scanner thing on his arm which is cool that looks good and then this other pouch down here on his thigh. So he's got a few extra bits and pieces just to differentiate himself from a regular Stormtrooper, which is nice. I, I appreciate that. Um, and one thing I'm happy about is the shoulder, shoulder bells on this one aren't sticking out like the ones on Mike. I had to fix that up. It was a bit of a pain. Um, wasn't a big deal, but you know when I got that figure, if you saw my review... They were really sort of sticking out like that, and it wasn't it just wasn't sitting right. I'm not sure whether it was just part of the assembly or whether that was a common flaw in that figure, but I did I did fix it. So and the other addition here is the jet pack, or a little little rocket booster pack there on the back, which isn't removable, um, unlike Mike's. So yeah. The Scar Squadron, Scar, Scar Trooper Mike had a couple of different sort of colour elements 
through the inner torso there, and this guy does the same. He's sort of got the black torso there, which again, sort of breaks up the armor a little bit. It looks cool, something different. And then sort of black through the back there. I like that look, I think. it. You know, it's just, again, just enough to differentiate him from, you know, just a standard sort of commander or, you know, he's part of a proper legion. Yeah, I, like I said with the other video, I, I did read some of the comics that these guys appear in, but I didn't really commit it to memory too much. Um, it kind of just sort of come across as a poor man's bad batch. <laughs> but, um, you know, they were named after the bad batch. I can't remember, Scar Squadron or something 99. I can't remember the whole thing. Um, you know, it's it's been a little while, and I didn't do my research before doing this video, so. But yeah, it's a nice looking Stormtrooper. I like, I love the Stormtroopers now. I think they're, you know, great, great figures, and being able to add some more to the ranks is cool. I think his torso piece, his armor piece, might be a little bit different too doesn't he's got like a smooth chest I only just sort of looked at that and realized that yeah that's sort of a different whereas the sort of normal stormtroopers have got the sort of pectorals give me a second I'm just gonna go grab the other one so without grabbing Mike I just grabbed a standard stormtrooper just to sort of take a look at the differences and uh, yeah you can definitely see the chest torso armor there is different and that's cool again I uh, didn't pick up on that until now um, I dig that that's that's kind of cool and you can kind of see the belt is a little bit different I think there's just a couple of extra glued on elements there he's got some more pouches on the side of the belt there but yeah the rest of the figure seems to be pretty much pretty much the same sculpt wise anyway but that's cool i like i actually dig that look for him now that i've taken note of note of the chest i, I dig that that's cool uh so articulation wise double ball joint in the head ball joint in the neck ball hinge with the uh butterfly joint in the shoulders got a hinge in the shoulders so the swivel at the uh elbow and a hinge in the elbow hinges in the wrist swivels as well Got this sort of torso joint there, ball and socket joint there at the thighs, swivel at the upper thighs behind the armor there. A good good bend in the knee, and then a hinge in the ankles and a rocker in the foot. So a nice, good-looking stormtrooper. That oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm glad I've picked him up now. I'd, Got him off Amazon for a pretty good price. It was only like 36 bucks or something, which, you know, that's cheaper than my standard Black Series now. And it's better than the 65 that he was going for at Ibi Games. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I, uh, I would like to hope that Hasbro has more plans to com continue on with the Scar Squadron and complete the crew, but... It's not something that Hasbro does very often. <laughs> they don't complete crews. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you on another video really soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.